A stone circle located high in the Armenian mountains may in fact be the oldest observatory in the world, predating England's Stonehenge. The claim has sparked a debate in scientific and astrological circles. And Yerkir Midias Gayania Vertisiania reports now. In the mountains of Armenia, there is nothing to be astonished with stones. Yet this structure has always attracted scientists with its mysticism, Karahund or Armenian Stonehenge. It is one of those unexplored henges in the territory of Armenia. According to the newly started expeditions, it can be the oldest observatory in the world, having history of 7,500 years. <laughs> The general construction of the monument hints about its astronomical meaning. It illustrates the swan or an old Armenian vulture constellation. Stones corresponding to the swan constellation stars are located on the pedestal and are movable. The other stones are digged into the earth. There are 223 stones in the center the construction is oviform. Scientists believe Karahunj can even be older than Stonehenge of Great Britain in Salisbury with 3,500 years, pointing out some stunning facts and similarities. Karahunj and Stonehenge have a passageway to the northeast. It helped to define summer solstice day. This means the creators of these two constructions had the same knowledge in the sphere of astronomy and were representatives of the same culture. A construction resembling Stonehenge has been found on the territory of historical Armenia in today's Turkey called Göbeli Tepe, in Armenian Portasar. In this monument uh, we have uh, on some stones uh, uh, symbols, uh, pictures of uh, the same bird, the same sacred bird, a vulture. This figure of vulture on the stones in uh, Portasar is repeating the same uh, location of stones in Zoras Karer, uh, Karahunj and uh, the same location of stars in uh, Sven constellation, in modern constellation. German archaeologist Klaus Schmidt did excavations in Göbeli Tepe, assuming that this construction belongs to the 11th millennium before Christ, older than both Stonehenge and Karahunj. 84 stones have through pass holes with 4 or 5 centimeter diameters. They are directed to the certain point of the sky, together with the other stones forming a side system. It is assumed that with the help of this structure it was possible to make calculations about the time. Around 7,500 years ago, this was a developed observatory and also a university where observations of the sun, moon and stars were made. The first roots of the words Stonehenge and Karahunj have the same meaning, stone. The second part, Hunj, in local Sunik dialect, means bunch, in Armenian, punj. Scholars believe the words henj and bunch can have some relations to the words punj and hunj. Another statement brought by scientists. In the first part of the oldest English Anglo-Saxon chronicles, it is written. The first inhabitants of the island Britain were the Brits who had come from Armenia. Bayanavetisian Media, Armenia for CNN Worldview.